This video is going to walk you through how to simplify ratios. First, what does simplify mean? Well, simplify means to reduce a number to its lowest terms, or we're going to find a ratio that is similar that's in smaller numbers to look at. So we're going to go over four examples today. The steps we're going to use are we're going to take our original ratio. Each number in that ratio, we're going to find all the factors. Then we're going to find the greatest common factor between those two numbers in our ratio. And we divide both of our numbers by that greatest common factor. So let's get started with example number one. The ratio is 16 to 40. So if you want to do that, the first thing we want to do is find all the factors of 16. And that's going to be what are all the numbers that you can multiply together to come up with 16? Well, we have 1 times 16. Uh, we have 2 times 8. And then there's 4 times 4. For 40, we have 1 times 40. 2 times 20, 4 times 10, and 5 times 8. It's a little squished there. But you can see 8 is common in both of them, and that's the largest number common. So that's the greatest common factor. So if we were to divide 16 by 8, we get 2. And if we divide 40 by 8, we get 5. 2 to 5 is a simplified ratio of 16 to 40. Second example, let's look at 25 in, uh, to 150. So right off the bat, I know that 25 can go into 150. You know, 20, 25 times 4 is 100, and then 2 more times is 150, right? So... But even if you didn't uh, spot that right off the bat, what you could do is, we know that five can go into 25 and five can go into 150 because this number ends in five and this one number ends in zero. We know that from our divisibility rules. So let's just reduce it down once and see if that gets us there. So let's divide 25 by five and we get five. If we divide 150 by five, well, 5 goes into 15 three times, add the 0. So the ratio is now 5 to 30. Well, if you look at that even closer, you know that 5 times 6 actually equals 30. So you know 5 can go into 30. So let's divide 5 by 5, and we get 1. And you divide 30 by 5, and you get 6. So 5 to 30 is a simplified version, but it's not the simplest version. 1 to 6 is. Example number three, let's look at 20 to 48. So the factors of 20 are 1, 20, 2, 10, 4, and 5. 48, we have 1, 48. Let's see if I can fit them all in there. 2, 24. 3 times 16, 4 times 12, nope, it's not going to fit, and we have 6 and 8. So I can see right off the bat that 4 is our greatest common factor. So let's divide 20 by 4, we get 5. Let's divide 48 by 4, and we get 12. 5 to 12 is our simplified or reduced ratio. Last example. Let's look at 21 to 28. So 21 factors are 1, 21, 3, and 7. 28 are 1, 28, 2, 14, 4 times 7. So if we look at these numbers, we can see that 7 is the greatest common factor. Let's divide 21 by 7 and we get 3. 
28 divided by 7, and we get 4. 3 to 4 is our reduced ratio. So now that we've gone through all this, I want you to try one on your own. Leave your answer in the comments. What is the reduced or simplified ratio of 21 to 56? Good luck. If you want to see more math help videos, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Give it a thumbs up if you found it helpful. And check out my website at improvemath.com to download your free printable worksheet. Thanks for watching.